What's up guys? What's up people? <laughs> Welcome to another video and as you can see we're together again which is okay. super exciting. We are here in the beautiful South Florida yes. and we will be spending the next couple of months of hurricane season here. And the reason is because a couple of months ago while we were in Aruba we had a big surprise. I wanted it to be a special surprise because it was Alejo's birthday and it was a great surprise for Alejo's birthday. It was birthday. a very, very big surprise. <laughs> so let's just show you that first. So what had happened is that when my sister arrived on the boat uh, to Aruba, I was, uh, you know, I just hadn't gotten my period, which is like not normal because I'm a regular. I get it. Yes. And so I didn't want to tell them because I was like, okay, you know, I don't want to. Alejo had been wanting kids for a long time. I, for like two years now, and I just didn't feel ready. I just didn't feel prepared and I was like, nope, 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 still, nope. Um, <laughs> and then, so I wanted like, in case that if I was, I wanted to do it, like make it something special for him. So I didn't tell them. I, I went to the, we well, well, actually all three of us went to the pharmacy. I told them that I needed to buy like a chapstick or something because my lips were like all ripped and broken. And my sister waited outside. I told them, I'm like, baby, if you be with my sister, I'll just buy this super quick. I bought the pregnancy test. I got it done like at the pharmacy store. And then, um, and yeah, obviously it came out positive. And I walked like the entire way back to the boat, like <laughs> just walking behind. I'm like, oh shit, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so then I waited four days, didn't tell anyone. I wanted Alejo obviously to be the first one to know. My parents arrived. My brother-in-law arrived. They all arrived and I didn't tell anyone. I spent like four nights sleepless nights because I didn't sleep at all. It was so bad. And then finally I told Alejo when it was his birthday. So about midnight. So about midnight. And that night I slept like a baby. And, and was... I didn't sleep. <laughs> Zero. I wasn't expecting the news. I wasn't I wasn't like I didn't know that was gonna be my gift for my birthday. Uh, I got very, very excited, very nervous at the same time. Lejo! Ay, ¿dónde está mi cumpleañero precioso? Hola, perrito. How does it feel to turn, turn, turn? turn very now? good, very, very, very good. Yeah? Everything hurts, you know. <laughs> you're mentiroso, your okay. neck, your knees, your elbow. <laughs> you lose your hair. Te tengo un ratito. Sí. You want it? How bad do you want? Pero ya o mañana. Ya. Seguro? Depende. ¿Qué es? Pues, maybe you would have to get the gift. Okay, ya porque si no no puedo dormir. <laughs> no puedes dormir. No <laughs> Yes, it's there. We didn't have wrap paper. Entonces lo tienes que lo tienes que abrir tu regalo. De hoy estás cumpliendo 31 años. Y estás abriendo tu regalo porque no hay papel. ¿Es esto el joke? ¿No hay regalo? Pero sí, hay un regalo. ¿Qué 
gonna be a dad alone. Yes, I'm so ready to be a dad. <laughs> you can call me Papa. <laughs> Luckily, because my parents, you know, it, they just happened to be there on the boat that same day celebrating Alejo's birthday. We were able to share with them our excitement that we are pregnant, that we're expecting a beautiful baby <laughs> in the next couple of months. Another so, member. Another member of the family. Yes. Okay. Okay. Por algún motivo, el 10 de abril es un día muy especial para mí. Un día que tengo mucho que agradecerle. Hace 31 años nació un niño muy lindo en la ciudad de Medellín y hoy celebramos su cumpleaños. Sin duda soy muy afortunada. Pero eso no es todo, porque un día como hoy, hace 30 años, en la ciudad de Bogotá, yo estaba parrandeando, celebrando la unión de mis papás. Y es gracias a ellos que hoy soy la mujer que soy. Definitivamente soy muy afortunada. Por eso, es que en este día tan especial, les quiero compartir este regalo de vida. being a shock when I told my parents they were just extremely 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 happy about it which was you know it was very exciting to see how everyone around me was so happy but I was just like in a shock like I, I can't say the feeling was happiness because it wasn't like for me it was just like like how do I believe this you know like is it happening is it happening exactly so I mean I, I don't know I have to be honest like I I feel super privileged and I am extremely grateful that we are able to bring life into this world because um, you know it's not the case for everyone and so I do like I think we do acknowledge like how much of a just like a miracle and you know I felt super grateful but at the same time I can't say I felt happy because it was just like a shock like I was like just a mixture of emotions i was like well i don't really believe this this is like a three dollar stick like am i really gonna believe a three dollar stick that i'm pregnant right <laughs> and knew i wanted to go to a real doctor to tell me that it was real <laughs> and that's when i came here to the us alejo stayed in the boat we thought it was the best you know decision at first until it was like a whole month and we were still not together because the solar panels just took such a long time to arrive yes. to cure us out so Alejo just couldn't leave and he just had to stay there at the boat and whatever. Then, you know, mixture of emotions because then it was something like, okay, now I really am pregnant. Like I literally went to the doctor, I'm like, are you sure I am pregnant? He says, yeah, I'm sure you're pregnant. And I'm like, well, how do you know it's alive? Like, how do you know it's real? Like it's happening. And she played the heartbeat of the baby. And I was like, oh shoot, like it's real. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> No, en serio. Es un bebé. to the ultrasound. 
guys out and when Alejo finally arrived here because I was super sad when he wasn't here I experienced like all these fearful moments of like being alone and having him be alone and if something happened to him and then I would be left alone in this world with the baby like all these weird <laughs> feelings of like I guess it's like hormones all the way you know up and down and up and down but today just made me really emotional because I'm far away from Alejo and I'm really afraid that something is gonna happen to him or if something happens to him and I'm left alone with and I don't even know how to be a mom and I don't know how to do this by myself and he's like the support that I need in my life he's everything for me like he's my balance like he gives me calm he gives me peace and I just feel like I need him in my life. When he came here and we finally went to the ultrasound together and we like got to see the baby together, it was super special. Yeah. And at that moment, it was like, well, like it's, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of new things happening, but we're excited for it. I mean, yeah. we're at a point in our lives where we want to, I, I don't know, we just felt like it was the end of something. Before even knowing that we were gonna have a baby, we kind of felt like, okay, we need a change, we need something different, um, and this is great. Like, this is super positive, and we couldn't be happier about it, 100%. I think. And I think one of the most exciting things have been just sharing, like, this amazing news with all our friends, our families. I think for some reason they had all been like expecting it for a long time because we've been married already for like six years. Yeah. So yeah, I've been expecting it for a long time. So it was super special just seeing everyone's reactions and how, you know, how loved this baby is going to be. Una noticia. Está preparada. Va a ser mi abuela. ¿De quién crees? No. Va a ser mi abuela Yolanda. Ahí se le estoy cuando la Ay, botó el papel. Seguimos la noticia del siglo. Mira qué hace mis cabuelos, mis cantillos, mis cantillos. Okay, yeah, just give me one second. Can you check your phones? Check your phones. No. Check your phones. Take your phone! Why don't you take your phone? Come here! Why don't you take your phone? Why don't you here in Florida with us. Hakuna is back in Colombia, yeah. right? For hurricane season. For hurricane season because honestly having the boat here in the US for hurricane season is just Very a pain. Stressful. It's super stressful. After hurricane season, we are going to bring the boat here. But meanwhile, while the boat is not here, 
We are super, another reason why we're super excited. <laughs> you wanna share that news? Yeah. We are very grateful with Black Fisk, which is a company that they make tenders and they make like boats. Um, super cool boats. Yeah, super nice boats. Super amazing yeah. boats. They're aluminum, aluminum yeah. with Orca like uh, inflatables around it, like a dinghy. And they gave us a 14 foot dinghy to use here in South Florida. So we're gonna use it, go out, go through the channels, go out diving, snorkeling. Yeah. So in August, it's gonna be lobster season so we can go out and catch up lobsters too. So right now I'm going to the warehouse of Black Fisk. If you haven't heard of them, we have their headphones, their underwater headphones. The dinghy, I believe is like 12 feet long. It has a 30 horsepower engine. Tell me, show me your new your new dinghy. My well, it's not a dinghy. It's like almost a boat. Yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> gentlemen i'm here with a pregnant woman <laughs> so yeah so we just picked up our new dinghy. My, dinghy my dinghy are you gonna put it under my name no my dinghy so yeah i'm gonna take it to my parents house and put it in the backyard because here we can have a boat outside so this week there's a few things we must get to be able to take the dinghy out first we have to go to a dmv and register the dinghy then we have to purchase some life vest and I believe a little fire extinguisher. We're happy to share this news with you guys. We are happy that you are, you know, part of our lives. We are grateful for this community that we built, for all the support that we get from you guys. And I'm sure, you know, all the comments that we're, that are gonna come, that are just going to be super loving and supporting. Our content might change, our channel might change. I mean, we remain the same people, but I mean, I when we started, um, living hakuna when we started the channel i think we never we never wanted it to be named sailing hakuna because we don't consider us, ourselves As to be sailors, sailors. Yeah. we we started living on the boat because we just wanted to kite and we wanted to live in the ocean but that doesn't mean we're sailors to be honest and so um we are i think we're super far from being sailors and being you know this amazing um people that can cross oceans and do all these great things our channel We'll be changing, we'll be taking you guys on our adventures, our day-to-day -day lives. You know, it's we're humans like you guys doing normal things like you guys. And I think we'll just take you along for whatever it is that we're doing. Yeah, Even if that involves like popping a baby out and... <laughs> and we're not gonna show the JJ. you know? <laughs> <laughs> We don't know how to do this and so we are completely new as yes. like... Any oh. tips will be greatly uh, uh, appreciated. appreciated. We'll figure it out along the way and we'll take you guys along the way so that you can figure it out with us. But for now, it, it was great to update you guys on what is going on in our lives, lives right now because yeah. you know our videos were like a little bit behind and stuff. So Very we will see you guys on the next one. Um, sending you all lots of love and we'll see you soon. Peace. <laughs>